Look out, Chip. Come on, get out of the way. the house this morning it was about 18 degrees and the crazy spring weather is here because it's 38 and it feels like summer to me it is way too warm for that heavy coat and hat so since boots here needs a place to have her babies and she's going to be kidding soon i built this small structure here for her to have her babies in and have some shelter so she can be isolated away from the rest of the goats. But it took me almost a week and a half to build this because funds are running extremely low. So I had to scavenge all this wood up from scrap spare wood I had laying around. I really didn't realize I had this much laying around, honestly. It's a piece of plywood from brooders. It is pallets it's actually part of a workbench that i had in the garage downstairs i took that actual frame of the whole workbench and the roof as you can see it's birch plywood and i fastened this monstrosity of a shelter up it's not the prettiest but i think it will definitely work for we got to get a heat lamp in here and I got to get the fencing up around here to create her own personal pen. I am going to do a few other things to it by hanging a water bucket over here and building her a hay feeder. But other than that, I think she should be pretty set. What do you think, Stash? Do you approve? Do you approve of it? I'll take that as a yes. Stash approves. So if it's stash approved, I guess it's good enough. So I ran down to the garage to get the tools I need. I got the wire cutters. But then I realized last time I used the sledgehammer, I think it was at the property and I don't think I brought it back from Guildhall so I'm gonna have to move on the plan B I'm gonna have to make a sledgehammer I do have an old mauling axe head downstairs that I was saving for another project but it's the only thing that I have heavy enough that I can hammer these posts into the ground so I'm going to go out in the woods, cut a tree down, create an axe handle, and fasten it onto the top of that mauling axe. So that way I can hammer these posts in the ground. One project always leads to another. With all these saplings out here in the woods, it shouldn't be hard to find a suitable handle. Let's see if we can get a nice maple axe handle on this. Let's see. I think we have a winner. Or in this tree's case, a loser. craziest thing just occurred to me a few weeks ago I said to myself I gotta throw this thing out it's just taking up space it's not doing anything but like I said earlier one project leads to another 
I am currently filming on a stick that I cut down from the woods with another stick attached to it so it can hold my light rig. So I got a homemade selfie stick and I don't have a tripod so I usually stick the stick into the ground. Well it just occurred to me this old light stand if I cut the top of it off I can use it as a tripod to stick my selfie stick into. So one project leads to another. And if you don't believe me, this is my selfie stick. There's my light. There's where my camera goes on to. And it's just a bolt from the hardware store that I drilled a hole into the end of the stick and glued it in. And the same goes for the light rig down here. And this is just held together with some screws. Okay, let's see if we can set this down. So you can get a view of where am I going to sit this thing now. <sighs> There's a bag. Hopefully it stays up in this work bag. Yep, there we go. So now for the moment of truth. Nope. Not quite. I gotta shave a little bit off the bottom of my selfie stick. Gotta sit down there. Alright. in business too poor for a tripod just make one I really gotta clean this place up it's a mess a total mess all right then let's figure this out I think this saw is just about at the end of the road. I need to pick a new one up. Tip's broken off, it's messing teeth, and it's pretty dull at this point.
And there we have it. My $6 thrift shop Japanese forged axe head. Six pounds. Now it has a handle after almost about a year. But I'm going to use it as a sledgehammer now. It seems as though these bolt cutters are absolute junk. They won't even cut well with wire fencing. Okay, let's try this again with some tin snips. So I just heard that we're supposed to get one to three inches tonight. And uh, the crazy thing is it's supposed to be almost 60 degrees tomorrow. And we already have about a half an inch. Well, maybe that's about an inch here on the top of the hut. So we'll see how much more we get. We always get twice the amount they get at the bottom of the mountain. But if all goes well, the weather holds out. I should be able to make that into a gate tomorrow rather than just pushing a pallet and wedging up some boards up against it so she can't get out. So we'll see how this goes tonight. Until tomorrow.